Kimberly Proffer Ramon here. You know, I got this old random lame question floating around in my head that I wanted to ask you, but I do think it has some relevance to some of the things that you're going through because I already know there's some areas of your life right now that there's some barriers and blockages right in front of you and they are hindering you from getting to where God want to take you. Have you ever heard somebody say there's more than one way to skin a cat? No, for real, I'm asking you a question. I told you it was random and lame, but it's a real question. Have you ever heard somebody say, there's more than one way to skin a cat? Now, I used to hear my grandma and older people in the community say it, especially when they were trying to get something done or execute a little task and they wanted us to get involved. And we'd be sitting there crying and complaining because we can't put it together or figure it out. And grandma just blurred out, don't worry, don't cry. Why are you complaining? There's more than one way, come on, to skin the cat. In other words, we got other options. Now, I don't want you to just look at that in the natural realm because there's a lot of relevance in that from the spiritual realm because there are some barriers and blockages right now in front of you and they are hindering you from doing what God has told you to do. It could be in your marriage, your ministry, your finances, your health. It could be with your children, your church, your business. I guarantee you got some barriers and some blockages that are hindering you and they are not allowing you to get to where God want to take you. But guess what? There's more than one way to skin the cat. You do not lack opportunity. You do not lack opportunity. I want you to hear the words that are coming out of my mouth and get it in your mind. You do not lack opportunity. You just lack options. You have to find more options. And one of the reasons why you don't have enough options is because you're just looking at what you're going through from the natural perspective and not what you're going through from the spiritual perspective. Because the opportunities that God has for you are spiritual but they require natural options that reflect your spiritual opportunity. That's why the Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 10, I want you to read it and meditate on it. 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Now let's pause for a minute because the Bible says the weapons of our warfare. When you see that word warfare, it's not just about your opposition, it's actually about your opportunities because your warfare reflects your Christian career. When you were saved, you signed up to Jesus Christ University and he gave you a Christian career. He gave you a warfare. That's where the Greek word stratomai or strategy comes from. It is your warfare. It is your Christian career. But with your Christian career, there are options or weapons that are required for you to implement and execute in order for your Christian career to be successful. That's where your opportunities are. So you don't lack opportunity that came with your career you only lack options and you have to understand that whatever it is that you're endeavoring to do there has to be more than one way to skin that cat and you cannot use natural solutions for spiritual problems you got to dig deep into the spiritual aspect of what you're dealing with for the barriers and the blockages that are in front of you and then you've got to take the weapons the options, the instruments, the tools that God has afforded you that reflect your opportunities or your warfare, which is your Christian career, and you've got to connect the both together because as long as there's a will, you know grandma used to say it, there's a way because there's more than one way to skin the cat. So what I want you to do is, I want you to look at the circumference of your life, every area of your life and see where the barriers and blockages are coming from. Then, once you identify with the barriers and blockages, I want you to see what weapons, what options, what tools, what things that you can use to implement in that area to not only break the obstacle, but to move forward into your opportunities. And so I pray in the name of Jesus today that every opportunity that's already been afforded to you, that God will give you the option to connect to the opportunity so that you can break through the barriers and the blockages that the enemy has placed before you.